Welcome to the video series, Six Steps to IT Documentation. My name is Rachel Hutchinson, and in the following videos, I will guide you through the areas clients, software and licenses, and services to demonstrate how I do it can help you to fully document your IT infrastructure. In today's part, we will build on our existing documentation and focus on the topic clients. We will not only show you how to document workstations completely, including small parts like adapters and power supplies, but also how to import information automatically using the discovery tool JDisk. A classic workplace usually consists of a PC, monitor, keyboard, mouse and a telephone. So this is what we focus on in the first part of this video. Client documentation. Let's have a look at the live demo. Before we add our client to the workstation, it is recommended to adapt the object type client in advance so that only the relevant information is documented in the end. Properties that we do not need can be deactivated simply by removing the cross. If you have already created a documentation plan, you can now use it to make the necessary configurations. To document small parts, we would like to present two possibilities. The first method would be to create a separate object type for each mouse and keyboard, adapter and so forth. However, this is often overdimensioned as accessories are in most cases only checked for completeness and no detailed information is required. We are now going to create a new custom category where we will include all accessories and special features. To do this, we go to the administration area, CMDB settings, and then custom categories. By clicking on new, we can create a new custom category and name the category equipment. In this case, we do not want to create multiple entries, but a simple overview page where we can click on our accessories together. We now need four user-defined fields. We use the first one to select our accessories. We can use this information later as a checklist for the handover of IT equipment. For this, we use a Dialog Plus multiple selection field. In the second field, we would like to determine whether private use is allowed. For this, we configure a yes-no field. We use the third field to document defects using text field multiple rows. We want to use the last field to determine if and how the hard disk is encrypted. For this, we use a simple Dialog Plus field. After we have saved our category, it appears in the client object type. Now we create our first client. To do this, we assign a name, determine whether the device is a notebook or a PC, and give details about the CPU, the number of cores and frequency. Then we enter the size and type of both the memory used and the hard disk and define who the user and administrator of the device is. In addition, we select our supplier and their hotline for support requests. In the category host address, we select our created network, but this time we will not assign a static IP. The clients obtain their IP from the DHCP server, so we now select DHCP under the Address Allocation category. In the overview, we also find our newly created user-defined category, Equipment. We now place our accessories here, such as the mouse, keyboard, HDMI adapter, and note the defects we found. On the overview page, we can now display all properties of the object again to check our configuration. Often, our IT or certain services thereof are bound by contracts with companies, manufacturers or service providers. By documenting these contracts in iDoIt, you not only have access to the relevant contract contents at any time, but you are also automatically notified for example, before the end of the cancellation period. 
You will also receive a detailed overview of which devices are bound by the respective contract. In our example, the equipment from the department managers is equipped with a special maintenance contract. This contains all the information regarding costs, contract duration, cancellation period and the agreed response times. It is advisable to define the responsible persons in order to be able to answer questions quickly. To link this contract with our client, we select the category Assigned Objects and add our client. If you want to create many new devices of the same type, we recommend using templates. The first step is to determine which type of device is involved. From then on, all the specifications for this device can be configured as usual. You can use this template afterwards to create as many objects as you like and even combine existing templates. All you have to do is assign a title, specify the number of devices and select your template. The combination of templates is a great feature. We will explain one possible combination. You have defined a software package that is installed for each client. However, depending on the person or department, additional software is required, for example, for accounting, marketing or project management. By combining the standard software template and the extended software package for the corresponding department, Clients can be documented quickly and easily according to your requirements. In addition, we can then automatically add a maintenance contract to our clients. As you can see, the possible combinations are almost unlimited. Of course, a workplace does not only consist of one client. Our final workplace has two monitors, a notebook, a telephone and a printer. The cabling view also shows us exactly which network socket and power strip it is connected to in the office. If the employee moves with his IT device because, for example, he changes department, we simply have to change the location of the workplace. All other devices then move with him. iDoIt offers extensive possibilities for documentation. So why not automate at least part of it? Through various interfaces, iDoIt can use discovery tools such as JDisk to analyze networks and import the clients, servers, virtual machines, IP telephones, and many other devices located within them. However, not only the devices, but also the software and associated licenses are determined. Devices that are discovered can be imported into iDoIt and created there as new objects. To do this, simply store the JDisk server in the interface and you can control which data you want to import using various profiles. This means that not only can new devices be created, but they can also be updated at any time. In the fifth part of our series, we will demonstrate an application case. You are also able to connect your directory services, such as Active Directory, to iDoIt via an LDAP interface to import computers and users. Let us summarize. Today we focused on the topic documentation of PC workstations. To do this, we created a workplace added a client, explained possibilities for using templates and contracts, presented the discovery tool JDisk and possibilities for using the import. In the next part of our series, we will show you how you can implement a complete software and license management with iDoIt. I would be happy if you join us for the fifth part of our series, where we will be focusing on the documentation of software and licenses. If you have any questions about iDoIt, please contact us at sales at iDoIt.com.